So the first way to record an instructional screencast on a Mac is to capture your recording of yourself solving problems that might be on a worksheet or an old test that students have. And the easiest way to do that is to write inside a PDF document. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do is take your, your Word document, and it might be a Pages document, that's fine, and you're gonna go up here to File, and hit the Print button, and you're gonna save it as a PDF. So click Save as PDF. We're gonna throw that right onto the desktop. That's fine. And here is the document. The next thing we need to do is we need to put it in a program that allows you to write in it. And the normal PDF viewer does not allow you to do that. So we're gonna drag it down to a program called Jar Null. Drag it into Jar Null, and we're gonna let go. And it's gonna open up in this nice program that allows you to write inside the document in various different colors. So we're gonna make it nice and big. We're gonna go up here to the, this plus button right there and zoom in. Okay. And then what we need to do is we need to capture ourselves recording in it. And you notice here at the top, you have a nice tool palette full of different colors that I'll show you in one moment. So the program on a Mac you're gonna use for screencasting is the QuickTime player that's already built into your computer. And we're gonna do that because it's free and it allows for upload to YouTube in one click. So I'm gonna go down here to QuickTime. I'm gonna click QuickTime. And I'm gonna go up to the top where it says File and I'm gonna click New Screen Recording. And this button here is going to open up. And the first thing I'm going to do is take this and drag it up to the top right so it's out of the way. And if you notice, it's picking up my voice as I talk. If that's not happening, you can click on this arrow and set the settings for a built-in mic or a maybe a plug-in mic that you brought along. Where'd you go? Okay. So what we're going to do is click this record button. And when you click this record button, you get this thing showing up in the middle. And this only shows up if you have the Lion upgrade. If you don't have the Lion upgrade to your Mac, it's gonna by default record the whole screen. So what I'm gonna do is click on this and it's gonna allow me to choose the portion of the screen I wanna record. Now notice what I'm gonna do is choose only the portion where the worksheet exists. And then I'm gonna click this start record button. So now it's recording my voice and my annotations. So what I'm gonna do is go up here to the toolbar and I can choose either red right here, this one's gonna be blue, okay, black. I can go to this one and choose various different colors. It's magenta. I can click on this button to erase and I can scroll through this document and solve the problems for the students. So I can explain this answer, I can go through to other multiple choice problems and work out the problems for the students and these annotations are gonna stay within this document. So it's really nice and then I can save it as a PDF for the students. What I wanna do now is stop the recording when I'm done. And the video is gonna come up. I'm gonna make sure that it worked and my annotations. So black on this button for the students. That's great. And I can share it immediately with other YouTube, Vimeo, Flickr, Facebook, and many different systems. You can throw it right to iTunes as well. YouTube is a really good one that we're gonna be working with primarily today. Another very powerful way of recording an instructional screencast on a Mac is to write right within PowerPoint slides that you might have already been using for your in-class lecture. And let's say you wanna shift that um, to the homework setting using a flip teaching model. So I'm gonna open up the PowerPoint presentation here. I have an old one that I've used before. I'm gonna to go to any random slide, okay? And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my screen recorder just like I did before. And since we're on a Mac, we're gonna use QuickTime. Gonna go up to file, gonna go to new screen recording. Yeah. 
couple little differences this time. Um, it's picking up my voice. I'm going to click this button. This time I want to record the whole screen because I'm going to be in presentation mode. So if I have the line upgrade, I need to click here on the left. If I don't have the line upgrade, this is going to happen automatically. So the first thing I want to do is minimize this little guy right here. And I'm going to put it in presentation mode. Now that I'm in presentation mode and I'm recording my solutions, I'm going to go down here, hover over the bottom left, and I see my pen tool. I can choose my color. I can choose blue. Yeah, I can go down and change the color to red. Okay, can highlight things. So what you often want to do is leave out parts of a slide and then fill those in with the pen tool and the ability to annotate. What I'm going to do is now exit from the PowerPoint presentation, pull this back up, hit stop. And one thing that's often useful to do is to go up here to the edit portion and trim out the beginning and the end, which shows you minimizing and then re-maximizing the PowerPoint or the, um, the keynote function. When I'm done, I can share it immediately with YouTube and Vimeo and I'm ready to go. you have a presentation that you want to annotate over um, and you don't have PowerPoint, chances are you have Keynote. A little bit more difficult to do this on Keynote. So I'm going to show you what you need to do first. First is you need to get a piece of software called OmniDazzle. And when you get OmniDazzle and you open it up, it looks like this. Okay. And OmniDazzle comes with a bunch of different plugins up here at the top and you want the plugin called Scribble. And what Scribble allows you to do is with a couple keystrokes, activate different pen tools. Okay. So to activate my first pen tool, I have it set for pressing Option Z. So I press Option Z, and if you notice, I get this blue pen tool. If I shake it, it then goes away. Option X is my red pen tool, and I can you know change that up however I want. So once that is active, you're going to open up your PowerPoint or Keynote slides. So I'm going to open up just a random Keynote presentation. And the reason you need to use this is because Keynote, when you hover over the bottom left, unlike PowerPoint, does not have a pen tool. Okay. So what you can do, though, is you can activate that pen tool in presentation mode just by clicking the keystrokes needed. So there's my option Z and I got my blue pen tool and my option X and I got my red pen tool, my option Z, that pen tool. I shake it and it goes away. Okay, so you're gonna do the exact same thing we did before. We're gonna open up QuickTime. We're gonna go to File. We're gonna go to New Screen Recording. Just like last time, what we're gonna do is choose to record the full screen and then we're gonna minimize this we're going to record the full screen. Once we're in presentation mode, then we're going to hit our keystrokes and do our annotations throughout our presentation. Okay. Shake it and everything will go away. Hit escape. Bring this back. Hit stop. Okay. And there we are. Like I said last time, you're going to often want to trim the beginning and the end so that you only have it when it's in presentation mode and it just looks nicer for the students. I find the students really don't care. And when you're done, you can share it directly to YouTube or Vimeo, just like we did before.